I have Brianna here and yeah, she just finished the Tommy Warrior coaching program and I always see her on social media sharing her workout story, sharing her, you know, she just finished her workout, she would share it on her social media story. I know she's going to be a rock star because she is so accountable for herself and I know that clients who are accountable, not just for herself, but like also for me as a coach, I know that that person will do well. And I knew from the beginning, Brianna is going to be one of those clients. And I'm so happy now that she finished and she got some amazing results. She's going to share with you later, but I am happy to have her here and share some of her thought and what her journey was like, especially because she's mom of many. I'm going to have Brianna talk now. And thank you so much for coming on to this call, Brianna. Mm -hmm. Walk us through you know, who you are and where you are, how you were before starting your program and, you know, mom of how many babies and how old you were maybe approximately. Okay. Yeah. So I just turned 36 this summer and I have five kids ages 15 down to, well, five now. And I, after every baby, you know, you try and work out and get back to your pre-baby body as close as you can. And I had known about diastasis from baby number one. I just, initially I thought it would probably heal itself if I worked out enough or if I lost the weight. And then as I had more babies, I realized that wasn't happening and I had to do programs that were specific to healing that. And especially after my 10 pound baby, There was a definite difference in my tummy after that. And so I started doing exercises that were supposed to help target that and help, you know, bring that gap back together and heal those muscles. And so I did them and never saw any difference. And so I kind of gave up on that. I just entirely, you know, (laughs) set it aside. I was like, okay, I'll just work on losing weight and not worry about my tummy. I just assume I'm stuck with it. And so it wasn't until the last like six months that I started coming across your Instagram And at that same time, I was kind of in a place of like, I've got to start taking care of myself. Like I am worth taking care of myself. I don't always have to just give to everybody else. It took me a couple months of, you know, watching your videos and reading your posts and stuff. And then I decided to get a hold of you. And it was like, well, obviously I'm going to do this. I need it. And, and it was amazing because Even though I didn't tap into like the Facebook group and stuff as much as I could have, I just don't do Facebook. So it wasn't as natural for me to be on there all the time, but just the accountability of having your program set up for me like it was and knowing that the way you designed it was to start very intentionally from the beginning. I think that made all the difference in the world. It was really frustrating for me at first because I thought I'm going too slow. I'm never going to see a difference. This is too easy. It's too, but it makes perfect sense in hindsight. And after, you know, that first week and you're already seeing results and even though you don't feel like you're doing anything, that's a big deal. So I was very (laughs) impressed. (laughs) Well, let's dissect the program in just a moment. But I'm really curious because you mentioned your oldest is 15 years old now. Now, Mm -hmm. so back in 15 years ago, you knew about diastasis at that time? Yes. And I only knew about it because I had a friend who's uh, a family friend and she has grown children and stuff. And she had talked to me about it. And so, you know, she's like, see, still mine. I still have a gap there. And I just, that's, I, maybe that's what made me think it was normal because I was like, oh, you know other moms have it and it's just fine. You just, it's just a part of being a mom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so at that time you weren't intentional about exercising or specific exercises for DR. Were you like, did you try researching about it at all at that time? Not quite at that point. No, it wasn't until, like I said, my third baby, that was my biggest baby. And then that left the most obvious aftermath yeah. <laughs> on my tummy. So. Yeah. 10 pounds, right? Yeah. I can't imagine. I mean, I, I mean that that's like 30% more because Jordan is seven and a 7.7. So, mm-hmm. and I have 30% more. That's definitely, but, and did you carry her, her him full term? Yes. Over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, so by the third baby and you had, uh, you had him and then, so you didn't want it to work on the DR yet at that time or? Um, at that point, I was kind of so overwhelmed with other health issues that it wasn't high on my priority. I wanted to lose weight and I knew that my body was over what was, what I'm built for. 
you know, you can just tell, you can feel it. And so I knew that, but I just hadn't targeted that particular aspect yet because I just knew I had so many other health issues and I didn't really know where to start. Okay. You were a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. 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 I'm just so amazed because I know you must be very busy too with five kids to take care of running a household errands and all of that. And, and then all of a sudden you're adding workouts on your plate and dealing with all the other things. So while you were doing the program, my program now, and like, how did you like divide your task like in your days? How did you fit that workout in your day? And how did you do your nutrition? So I'm really curious. Right. So the workouts, I just made sure to do them like first thing in the morning, every morning. And I knew that if I put it off any longer, that I would find other things that had to be done and it would get pushed back until it just, I didn't have time anymore. And so I made sure to do it every morning. And the nice thing was the length of them is perfect. Like you don't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm not done yet. And I have so many other things to do. You know, you, you feel like, okay, this is totally doable. And so I just made sure to do them first thing every morning. And which really actually was wonderful because then I felt great the rest of the day. So, and then as far as nutrition, as you know, I'm already working through like so many, like a healing diet of so in so many different ways. And so the biggest help in your program for me was like the, what do you call it now? I can't even think of it. How you, the bloat reducing. Reducing, Yeah. Yeah. That was huge for me because just with digestive issues that I'm dealing with, that's something that I struggle with regularly. And so I can, I could really tell when that was kind of creeping back up on me. I'm I'm like, okay, so what did I eat? You know, and I could kind of track back and I understood better, you know, which foods are actually causing that problem. And yeah, shall we dive just a little bit deeper into the nutrition and like how, what were you doing in the day? Maybe like, were there a particular food that you were trying to take out or reduce or, or maybe you were able to in- implement or introduce some, some food that you might not have tried? Maybe it, it helps. Like, what, what were the things that you did? Well, to be honest, I'm kind of a tricky case in that regard because I had already cut out so many foods and I basically wasn't eating a very, very diet at all because I'm trying to eliminate so many things. So like there was no dairy, there was no gluten, there was, you know, not a lot of sugars. There's, I was kind of playing around with the foods that you recommended and just a lot of like just munchy food throughout the day because I'm, <laughs> I was trying so hard to heal other things at the same time. But like I say, the targeting the topic of bloating was, was the biggest part for me because yeah. even though I knew like what foods I couldn't eat on my diet and the things I was trying to avoid and, or trying to reintroduce or whatever, I still didn't know specifically which ones were going to create a problem with bloating as much. Yeah. And so that was really helpful in like those days where I thought I feel different, you know, something I, I look different than I did yesterday. And I could, it was just nice to be able to recognize that like, Oh, you know what? I ate something on this list that I shouldn't have eaten or something like that, you know, Yeah. but, but specifically it's hard to really follow my diet just because it's such a more complicated Mm -hmm. picture. The tips and the guidance and then be able to implement it routine into a family lifestyle. Yeah. And had how you had it broken down. So I didn't follow the portioning quite as much just because like I said, I, I was working with another doctor mm-hmm. helping me try and um, do gut healing stuff, but the specific things like the foods and stuff that you had listed and helping me identify those things was really fantastic. That's awesome. See, there was a question that just ran out of my head. Okay. Regarding to bloating, because I remember when I was looking at your before pictures, I could see, you know, that shape, it's like bloated. Because I know you had, I was looking at our notes and you had a three fingers gap at the belly button, right? About a knuckle deep, right? So the depth Y isn't too bad, providing you have five kids. And, but what really sort of that made you that shape was like, I I believe that it was bloating. And like, and I told you, you know, working on the bloating would be really, really important for you to see any physical appearance change. And then, Mm -hmm. so that's why after the first week, second week, you see progressive changes in the shapes and how you feel and even your gap and diastasis, everything was responding really well for you. And definitely the hard work you did with the tracking and the food and 
taking a look, taking a look and journaling, journaling, journaling your your food choices so crucial. And sometimes it's something that it's like these kind of things that we overlook. We might think that we remember what we had, and sometimes we forget. So what were some of the roadblock? Like, were there any time you had a roadblock that you're like, okay, you know what, this doesn't work. I don't feel like working out, or maybe like, oh, this is I, I'm getting I don't know bored, or like, how did you get yourself back up? Yeah. So, like I said, right off the bat, I kind of felt like, really, like, if I'm not even doing anything in these workouts, I thought, so that was the first thing I had to kind of get over. Like, it just it took me a while to realize there's a purpose. She's got this intentionally laid out the way it is. It feels slow to me, but I'm such a mess inside that it's going to take a while to you know build that foundation so I can start doing bigger workouts and so that was the first mental thing I had to get over but then I think mm-hmm. for me along the way I didn't lose a ton of weight but you know like I said I feel like I feel like I I can't even count in that regard because I have other things going on but losing the weight was I was looking so much at the scale and not as much at like the finger width you know what I mean mm-hmm. as the gap the closing and stuff and so I had to get over that too. Cause I was like, how can I not be pleased with the progress I'm seeing? Stop thinking about the number on the scale. Because when I signed up for your program, mm-hmm. I didn't sign up for it as a weight loss program. Uh-huh. That wasn't the point. Mm-hmm. The hardest part for me of the whole 90 days was at the end. I just got hammered with so much life and it was just hard to keep going, mm-hmm. but I did it. You did it. I know you have something going on at the end of the program, but, and you did it overall. Like, how do you feel now after the program, like lifestyle wise, you know, how you're playing with your babies and physically or anything as a mom, like, how do you show up? I definitely just, I feel like I have more energy and more strength and less back pain. And I mean, I feel better physically overall for sure. But I think the biggest thing for me is just my confidence level. Just wearing a plain t-shirt for me, I was telling a friend this the other day, I feel totally different. I don't feel like, like my belly's hanging out and it feels so much better. And I feel like when I go to bed at night, I don't look like, oh, hey, I didn't realize I was pregnant. Oop, there it is. You know, like I just feel so much better about my body overall. That changes everything when you are not just down on yourself constantly. And every time you see your reflection, you know, it changes everything when you have a better, and it's not just mindset shift anymore. It's an actual result. That's been the biggest thing. Actual results. It helps you feel better. When you feel better, you show up better, you wake up better and the whole day, everything else will fall into places. Yep, exactly. Oh, Thank you so much for doing this call with me. Yeah, really, I always love to know what my clients and how, especially staying motivated, like especially how they are time managing their workouts and, you know, what sort of things they're doing with the nutrition. These are all the toughest things for my clients. And I think just like moms in general, we're just so busy in our lives and like everything, all sort of directions are distracting us. And just knowing how successful mom like you, how you did it with five kids and, you know, you have your side hustles, you have your work, like how did you manage it? Thank you for sharing your insights. So you did your workout in the morning. Like, did you like do it before breakfast or after breakfast? I usually just got right up and did it right away. It- I'd maybe get some water in me or something. I just knew like if I waited too long, then I'd get distracted and pulled in a thousand different directions. But yeah, it was great. And it was, I have to say, as far as being a mom of girls, it was great to have a workout that didn't focus so much on just like losing weight and toning up and looking good. You know, like I was able to explain to them throughout the workout that this is healing my body and it is putting things back where they go. You know, like- the workout goes so much further than just looking good. And so that was neat for me, just having daughters and, you know, body image stuff and being able to. Yeah. To show up for them and show them yeah. that this is possible for them in the future too. Oh, like, yeah, oh. for sure. I love that. Yeah. You're a, such a great role model. Thank you so much, Brianna. <laughs> thank you for joining this call. Yeah. You, you amazing. Well, thank um, you for your program. I appreciate it so much. I've been waiting a long time for it. So. <laughs> Or worth it. So yeah, for anybody who is listening, watching this video, listening to this podcast episode, if you wanted to connect with me, connect with me on Instagram at Becky Choi underscore. Share this episode with any moms who you think might be helpful, like maybe have diastasis or a new mom. 
who wanted to learn how to heal their core and gain core strength, share this episode with them. Thank you and talk to you next time. Bye-bye.